Oh look, it's the game I played against my wife the other day. With my boar stick. She actually did really well in this game. So I'm gonna let it play through. I just kind of explain what was going on. She actually had a really good chance to beat me at this game. Um, I consider my boar stack pretty darn good, but uh, yeah, I mean, I she made a couple of mistakes that actually kind of hurt her. So yeah, she's playing creep. She kind of kept my uh, my board pretty clean till the very end of the game. Um, she has quite a bit of direct damage in her deck, like you know that coming out, she could do uh, some damage there. And you can see she's going to take out my uh, my Blood Helm right here, um, specifically because of that haste. So she's got haste cards in her deck. She has direct damage cards in her deck. Um, she kind of set it up a little bit like a red, you know, a red haste direct damage deck from um, from Magic: The Gathering. So <clears throat> if I remember correctly, I'm built this deck for her with very limited resources a while ago but as you can see she's bringing out a fireball dropping a fireball she's making sure she's keeping my board clean um, I'm going ahead and getting rid of uh, the guy that has two damage just because I have four shadow energy and in my hand there really isn't a lot besides that uh, that Dirk right there so I wanted to make sure that she couldn't kill that Dirk right away but she comes back and actually does this lightning strike to me and it takes more direct damage to me and takes my Dirk which I just threw out out of play so I did get another Dirk on that hand if I remember correctly so I went ahead and threw that Dirk out she goes ahead and pulls another Kristoff out and then there's the fireball more direct damage so she's already knocked me down to 19 health I haven't even touched her health whatsoever haven't even had a chance so she's gonna you know lose one of her Kristoffers right here just so that she can clear the board so um, with that haste coming out once again definitely hurting me now I'm I only have two dirks both my dirks are gone they're my ambush guys really if I I use them really later game a lot because I'll get some protector cards out sandworms out and then they can sit there and just do you know tons of damage tons of damage without actually getting hurt uh, you do see me get a few cards out here on the board, such as my Earthen Protector and my, um, oh, I'm forgetting the name of that card right now. Uh, she does bring out her Bazaar, but, uh, yeah, my, my Blood Helm, yeah. Here she is, you know, taking out my Earthen Protector. She knows she has to take it out because that'll just make my Blood Helm extremely better, and she manages to take it out. Um, if you didn't know, the, he basically gives a plus two plus two to anything that dies um, but here I am actually trying to get some damage on the board on her uh, doing a little bit of damage I did bring this out just to kind of it didn't really do anything for me I don't use really use weapons on my um, on this deck so she's actually doing quite a bit of damage here to me trying to clear the board a bit uh, again she does manage to get my blood helm out but uh, we're still sitting with um, oh my uh, Lily. My Lily's still on the table, but she does take it out with her ability. Boom, gone. Clear the board once again. So we're sitting at 1817 here, and she still has her one, one out on the table. Um, I do three direct damage, as you can see here. I don't know why I still have that card in my deck. Uh, mainly just to clear the clear the board, really, to do some extra damage to a. Uh, Thing. I want to stop the bleeding as quickly as possible, so I go ahead and take out her uh, her little one one there, um, just to make sure that uh, he's gone. She does bring out another one uh, three one. Um, forgetting the name of that card right now, but um, yeah, and this is where I start turning it around. So I get my rampage on. So anytime I kill an ally, it gives me two health. Uh, so that's going to start helping. Uh, she does throw out a portal. She did that in the wrong order. If she would have done that in the right order, her Blood Helm could have attacked me right there as well. So I do manage to get my Sandworm out. Sandworms have a two damage reduction, which is a great thing. And she actually forgets about that several times, which saves me. Like, uh, she does freeze it there. She attacks it here. It's only going to take one damage. Ta da! One damage. She attacks it here. This is complete negation of her damage. She should, should just use her Blood Helm to actually attack my Boris. But uh, yeah, one damage again. So the Sandworm's down to three health. And she's going to do that. It's going to do.
do two damage because it does four total damage. She's almost got my sandworm off the table, but she does need one more uh, attack. So I actually used, I never used the rain delay, ever. I never ever use a rain delay and I just used it. Shows you any card, even if you use it as a resource card, can come out and actually, you know, do some work for you. Here she is, she's uh, gonna fireball, take out a good card of mine. That card actually, I forget the name of it, but it takes the base attack and reduces it to zero. So she went ahead and took that out. My sandworm's still frozen, so I can't do anything with that. But uh, yeah, I just played those two cards. Usually I'll save those to kind of reduce their resources as it does destroy one enemy resource if it's equal or greater than yours. But uh, I just need to get something out on the table to just kind of defend and... Yeah, you can see right here, no damage to my Sandworm, but both of those are down to one. So Sandworm's going to go down here, and my other two cards are going to go down here. So once again, she's clearing the board on me, um, and there's nothing I can do about it. This deck is all about survival and board control, and that's really what she's doing right now to kind of, you know, defeat me. And it works really well until a little bit later, and I'll point it out, when the actual... Uh, when it actually happens. So I throw out another Sandworm, return a card to her hand, uh, one of her three ones to make sure that I'm stopping the bleeding as much as I can. Plus those are what can take out my Sandworm because they can actually do it and pff, she troughs out two of them. So doing three damage to me, she's trying to kill me off as quickly as she possibly can. She's not going to worry about my Sandworm right now. Um, Especially since next turn she can freeze it and do two damage to it and basically take it off the board if she has all those three ones left. So is this it? is this where it happens? No, this is where I get my King's Pride. So it d does give me a little bit more health on my Sandworm, taking out a Windrunner, um, and then that's basically all I can do that turn. So the bleeding hasn't stopped yet. Um, she can technically put a lot of damage out on me right now. So she's going to take that one damage. She's going to try and get rid of my sandworm here. So 1-1, um, one, one, obviously, she's not going to do anything to the sandworm. So she's wanting to get rid of that armor as quickly as possible. But it starts out with 5 durability. So it's really hard to uh, take out. So she really should have focused kind of on my sandworm right here. Just because, I mean, it's a 5-5. Five, five, it's on the table. She could have actually taken it down quite a bit. So... And she does do that, and she freezes it right here. So, uh, takes it down to a 5-3. If she would have actually um, gone with her uh, her three ones, she could have taken the sandworm off the board. Now I have frozen armor because I just kind of wanted to make sure I had armor and freeze anything that possibly could come at me. Um, yeah. Gaining health here, gaining health, gaining health by taking out one of her three ones. But uh, still, Sandworm's frozen. I did put reinforced armor on it to kind of keep it from taking any more damage. Um, it is down to a 1 right now, and that's going to do absolutely nothing to it. Because it's a 1-1, one, one, negating 3 damage. This is going to do nothing to it, 0. Effectively, with that reinforced armor, I've made it so she cannot attack my Sandworm whatsoever. Oh, wait, no. Oh, uh, it's... Um, Oh yeah, it's, it wasn't uh, reinforced armor that I put on it, it was the protector. So right here I believe, yeah, I get my, uh, and boom, 10 health. And that's basically where she's like, you know what, screw you, I don't like you, you heal. <laughs> so here I am, taking out a Blake Windrunner, gaining two more health, so now I'm back up to 22 health. And that's kind of where the game completely turned around, because I have armor on, uh, she can't really do any damage to me. I healed a bunch of health I can take out anything she has on the board right now and look I just put out another one of my in one of my uh, main cards that I use in this so um, yeah she did do a good job there of ensuring that I'm wasting kind of one of my axe hits on something and then supernovas boom but the fact that she lost three enemies means I gained two health on my Boris. So, yeah, it, right now I have a pretty good setup. It's about to end right here. But, uh, yeah, I just got the right 
of cards later in the game. And that's what it's about. It's about survival in this deck, making it all the way to the end, and you should have some good stuff later on down the road. So, boom, I got Aeon Stormcaller out, and I can basically finish it off in the next turn here. So, Axe, Aeon Stormcaller, GG. She played really well and really, really valiantly. She played to the strength. She did have a couple of mistakes there that could have could have actually probably won her the game because um, it kind of lengthened the game out. I mean, as you can see, we went 21 turns played. Uh, I went 15 allies. She went 12. Seven uh, abilities played. She played 13. That's all for direct damage. Uh, items played. I played four items. That's kind of where my deck kind of, you know, get strong as I'm playing different items and then there's 153 total damage dealt in that game she dealt 116 damage probably 40 of that was to my hero so I mean it lasted 10 minutes 20 seconds but it was amazing amazing game played by my wife so um, props to her and yeah I mean she did a great job sadly she did lose yeah, she's all, I'm not playing you for a while, and I'm not playing against that deck anymore. So, definitely my Hunter deck and my uh, my Gravebone deck, I can probably get her to play a game against me, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, anyways, I think that's it for me for now. Um...